I think that the concept is something that has inspired a few different countries to uh, remake. Um, we weren't the only ones. I think the base concept is just so much fun. But for me, I was I like the challenge of trying to make something suspenseful within these confined spaces. I always think that's that's a, a challenge that's that's worth uh, accepting. And the opportunity to work with Liam was hyper appealing to me. He's He's a king of his craft, and, and uh, I just thought it would be a really, really cool experience. And I was lucky enough to have that confirmed. I really enjoyed myself on the film, and M. Beth, uh, Matthew Modine, in addition, um, Noma Dumezwini, an incredible actor, the kids. It was really a fun time for me to work with these, with these very talented actors. Yeah, I mean, you know, sometimes someone will bring someone up that, not in this film particularly, but in other projects that maybe wasn't the easiest to work with. So when you say give Steve props, it's very easy for me to do in this case because the dude's a rock star. I mean, he's a legit rock star. And my hope in, in working on any project is that I'm surrounded by folks that are not only better than I am, but also share an almost childlike enthusiasm or passion for the craft. And and he is one of those guys. He just comes every day to work with this incredible excitement, with this uh, with this drive and the quality of the work. Our process was very interesting because generally I'm not someone who likes to sit in the room for 12 hours straight. I find that I tend to lose sight a little bit if I'm watching the same takes over and over and over again, I, I will lose a bit of sight. So, you know, there's times when I'll maybe come in and say, hey, this is what I was thinking. Like start with the wide, go to the tracking shot and with the close-ups. I would come up with something like that and I would communicate that. And then I, but I would always offer up, if you have a better idea, if you have a different idea, show me that as well. It doesn't have to be mine. It just needs to be the best. And in this case, Steve was that guy. I would literally talk to him. I would share some ideas and then I'd go away and I would come back. I would come back either that night or the next morning and he would show me something. And I remember the process very well. The first maybe five minutes were assembled. We did that. I mean, not. To, I wasn't sitting over his shoulder. He was moving on his own, but we had those those five minutes put together. And I remember seeing it and saying, damn, that's pretty good. Like, I hope this whole, like, I hope the next five minutes is gonna be as good because this five minutes, this was really great. And then the next five minutes would be done. And then suddenly we had 10 minutes and it was pretty damn good. So I, I would always go in with the hope of, man, I hope the next five minutes is gonna work. And fortunately, I'm, I'm working with uh, a lot of talented folks, including Steve on this film. So every time I went into the editing room, I had a smile on my face and we had a super, super talented group. The post process, Harry, our, our composer, I mean, so many top notch players that really uh, made me elevate my game. You know, there's, there's a pragmatic reasoning and there's also a creative argument that we were able to marry to the pragmatic reasoning. Andrew and Alex, our producers, had a few projects already that they had captured in Berlin. So there was an infrastructure already in place. But what I found hyper appealing, of, and that was in place in the screenplay before I ever arrived. And what was very appealing to it was the fish out of water. So not only are you uh, witnessing a family with their own dysfunction, and then not only are you witnessing a nefarious player uh, interject himself or herself into, I'm not gonna say which because I want it to be a surprise, but interjecting themselves into their lives and creating this turmoil and this chaos. But above that and, 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 and playing into all that is this concept that they're not even at home. They're, they're completely in a foreign environment and um, I think that a sense of isolation is enhanced by the city itself, you know? And, um, but speaking to uh, the process in Berlin, 
I, you know, a few different people come to mind and I'm leaving folks out. I'm going to forget some folks, but, you know, Silka, our script supervisor, our stunt, our, our stunt coordinator, there were so many, Boof was our stunt coordinator's name. Um, there was so many, so many awesome people that were, that recognized that Liam and myself and the actors were coming every day with passion and we were prepared. And these folks bent metal to, to bring our ideas to life. And I'm very grateful to those folks. So, I mean, it's it's daunting for a filmmaker. I mean, he, he's a king of his craft and he's someone that has worked with some of the biggest filmmakers ever. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a daunting feeling, you know, showing up to uh, present your ideas to him. Um, but, you know, I, with, with most of the greats, what I've noticed is if they sense that you are arriving with not only preparedness, but a passion, then, then they respond to that very well and i'm a, i'm a big collaborator I'm, I'm someone that really enjoys the process of discovering things with the actors i come with storyboards i come with a set uh, some ideas as to how i'd like to approach it none of it is set in stone often i'll have other ideas whether it's coming from the actors or the dp or other other team players uh, i can move away from from the boards often and, and improvise with them to discover something better but I think that the boards also kind of give the actors a sense of, okay, the guy knows what he's doing. He knows what he wants. And and then if you also show a willingness to collaborate, it, it I think it elevates the experience for everybody. But uh, I've said this a few times today and I'll say it again, a director is really only as good as those that he or she is surrounded by. And um, I was blessed with this, this incredible cast all who are like sick talented i mean really disturbing actually how talented these these folks are and uh not only noma and matthew and liam and mbeth but also the kids you know jack kids champion good. and lily aspel to be really really honest i mean this is a liam neeson film but this film wouldn't have worked if those kids weren't as good as they are and i was and you know, kids in cinema can be kind of like, oh, I don't know, but in this case, it was so, it was a blessing and a gift. I, and I would work with uh, those kids anytime, any day, anywhere. This entire, what they refer to as an industry in this country is an art form. And without the artists, there is no business. That's all I'll say about it.